Some Detroit EMS workers less than pleased with their paycheck. Almost everyone in the EMS division of the Detroit Fire Department was shorted hundreds of dollars. Today, a group of workers went to the city payroll office to get it sorted out. But the question is, did they succeed? Fox 2's Taryn Asher is in Detroit with the story. This is not the first time we've told you about this. EMS workers getting shorted pay. Well, it's happening again. Sometimes up to $1,500, we're told, a paycheck. I was short 36 and a half hours of overtime. How much money is that? Uh, roughly 1300 And when you saw that that was missing, what did you think? Oh, you know, it's frustrating. I'm unable to pay my bills that need to be paid. At least 10 EMS workers stormed the city's payroll department, wanting to know where is their money. A symbolic stance against the city, kids with their styrofoam cups asking why daddy isn't getting paid for his work. Wassam Zaney, who is the president of Detroit's Emergency Medical Services Association, claims dozens of his workers have been shorted almost every the last two years, from overtime to hourly rates. People have mortgages. People have kids got to start school. We have to buy food. We have to buy clothes. We have to have gas to get to work. And no matter how often they complain, file grievances, and show proof of the problem to payroll, they claim nothing gets done. Fox 2 first told you about this reoccurring issue last November. The city promised to fix the payroll problems, but Zaney and his guys say nothing has changed. This is the form that the city wants us to fill out when we have payroll discrepancies, and we have members that have filled out numerous forms like this and haven't gotten any kind of uh, relief. You come out here and you work hard every day and you know you want to see your money when you get it. Is there a reason this is happening? I just don't understand it and can't really get a straight answer. Straight answers were hard to come by. The payroll supervisor wouldn't comment, just the clerk. We're trying to do the best we can. So are they going to be paid today? I can't answer that. Oh. How would you feel if your paycheck was shorted? I would be very hurt. The mayor's office is closed because it's a furlough day, but a spokesperson eventually told us the problem centers around projecting overtime accurately and how the information is entered into the system. She says to fix it, it would need a brand new payroll system. And some good news to report, we've learned late Friday afternoon, the city did pay those EMS workers. But because this has been an ongoing problem, there is a meeting scheduled for Wednesday for the union and human and resources to hopefully, they say, come up with a solution. In Detroit, Taryn Asher, Fox 2 News.